Hello and uh, welcome to this video. Today I am going to demo a Cognos SDK application. This application can run reports as batch on ad hoc basis. Won't it be nice to kick off your daily schedules after your ETL build is complete? We have all seen incomplete reports due to a late running build. This application is ideal for running daily, weekly, or monthly batches with minimal overhead. It saves outputs of the report to a shared directory as well as it emails the report to the user. Upon launch of the application, we see a dashboard that shows reports scheduled by batches and also top six long-running reports. In order to set up a report for a batch, we need Cognos report path. Let's click on the search icon to obtain the report path. Simply select the package and type in the partial report name. This will display reports matching the name. Copy the report path and click on the report user interface. Here we can supply report information to set up the report. For example, we will need to supply report path, report name, output directory, batch number, whether it's a monthly or daily report, uh, we can select uh, the output directory and uh, comments if any. Next, we will set up parameters for this report entry. Let's click on the parameter user interface and search for parameters by report ID and supply the appropriate values for report parameters We can view and edit this report entry on the update database user interface. If all fields are correctly set up, then we can head back to our parameter user interface and test this entry. Enter report ID and hit run. This will bring up the console application that will execute the report and save it to the shared directory and also email it to the recipients. We can view the shared directory location and the email to see if the report is present there. Console application log and activity is accessible via report log screen. We can select and view logs by batch and date. Also, we can download the logs in an Excel spreadsheet if need be. Now let's head back to parameters page and simulate a batch run. We will enter B1 for batch 1 and see console application execute all the reports under batch 1. We see the reports and directories are being created on the file system as the application is running through the reports. Application checks and if a folder does not exist, it creates it. Upon completion, console application will shut down and we can verify the reports on the file system. Also, if there were any recipient listed and a file is below 20 megabytes, then the report output will be mailed to the users. Last but not least, the user interface also allows us to update the date prompts values on period page. Before executing the batch, we can update all the dates for all the batches and continue running our reports. This is all what I had to share with you today. Thank you for your time.